the scaffolder guys pulled up poles and that to him outside um, oh, right. outside one of his pals one of his pals restaurants so anyway something like that so the me thinking all right this obviously these big scaffolders probably think these asians are little nothing probably packies or something do you know what i'm saying so i've grabbed my white van grabbed my piece and i've gone i've gone to this road in um Bants there, Tadworth, yeah. So I'm going to this fucking scout. I'm firing away, like and this is just a normal road. I'm, I'm, I'm reckless. Then, yeah, I'm firing away. And my brother's like, "That's the door." So I rung at the door. I said, "Who the fuck is trying to think my brother?" And his bird come out saying, "Iman, what are you doing?" <laughs> I was like, "Fuck, what is that?" I'm gone. <laughs> Next day, luckily for me, that would have been a big, big, major case. She yeah, dropped yeah. It, and I said, "Well, you're a fucking scaffold off, and shouldn't be fucking run, my brother." But then people knew in the manner. They know I got things around me. Like, do you know what I'm mm. saying? Yeah, I'm five foot five, small, and do you know what I'm saying? If you're big enough, you got a good chance fucking me over. But like, I ain't gonna have it. Like, I ain't gonna just come meet you for like. Fucking roll around on the floor, I have a black eye and that. You have yeah. to meet me. One of us is going to die. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I'd rather walk away, leave it, shake hands, make peace. But if you want to go down that, we're, we're coming for you, isn't it? Like, full stop. Um, there's been, like I said, there's been loads of stuff. There's been loads of another time. I think, um, I think this other guy, again, it comes down to racism. Um, oh, right, right. So the skis, I was with this bird. The skis said a couple of indirect comments. Um, and I ignored it, ignored it, ignored it. And them days you had, um, this is when I was young, you had, um, what's it called? MSN. Mm. Don't forget, this was, this, was when I, this was my early, 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 early 20s. And he said something about, she, he said something to her about, oh, what are you doing with that packy? I was right. like, rah. Oh. All right. It was, and I lied to him before. He said a few things before. I lied to him before. So um, I thought, all right, we're going to have to show him what time. This was broad daylight. <laughs> this again, I was reckless. My head was all over the gaff. So I grabbed my brother, grabbed uh, one of my other pals. Um, I grabbed a thing, went outside, broad daylight outside his house. Um, and then we, we obviously put a, allegedly, this is what's been said, yeah. we put a thing to his face, put him in the back, took him to the woods, that's bashed him up and he went home naked. That's what allegedly got Damn. obviously done. Um, but things like that, it went around. Do you know what I'm saying? It got thingy like, fuck, like. These boys ain't fucking around. What was the reason for that? Racism as well. Racism. So, yeah. firstly, this geezer, about two times before, said, signed, like, indirectly about Packy this, yeah, Packy that, yeah. yeah. And the next time, obviously, I was at this bird's house, um, and she said, look what this guy's, the guy said, you know, why are you with this Packy? Right, right. So I was like, raw. So I've given him, like, a few chances. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? I thought, do you know what? Is what Again, this is all allegedly what's happened and what's yeah, going on. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So what's been said was that you, you've grabbed him, what, from the house? He was he, one of his friends set him up, yeah. Apparently, yeah. Oh, one of his right, friends right. set him up. Yeah. Apparently, he said, "I put a thing in his face and his pal, put him in the back of the car, took him to the woods, fucking gave Dashed him, him a good hiding, yeah. and then he walked from the woods. I think no, from Petrograd all the way to his house naked. Damn. So, but that's what allegedly got done. But to be fair, like I said, I'm a yeah. easygoing guy. I'm not a bully. I'm humble. But if you're gonna be racist, and for me, I have to think about my children and my brother and family. If I yeah. don't. Clamp down on the, clamp down on certain things, and again, I stress this was allegedly. If I didn't clamp yeah, yeah. down on these things, then it would have continued. He would have done it to someone else. It would have happened to my kids. It's generation after generation. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm. Anything I've done in my life, like what well, the stories I've told you, it is it's for a reason. There's not. I'm not one of those people that. Do you know what I'm saying? For no reason. Yeah. For no reason. To, yeah. Not no yeah. reason. I mean, some people have the opinion why you should do this, why you shouldn't do that. But if you don't, if you don't clamp down on things, it will just continue. Like, see, for example, for this guy, uh, the racing, he's done it twice before. And I said it in the nicest, politest way. Um, please, don't, you don't want any problems. Just mm. please. And he didn't listen until, allegedly, that madness happened. Then everything just stopped. Everything stopped. Right, ain't heard from right. me since, ain't seen him <clears throat> since. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, I can tell you another madness. Um, okay, like I said, every madness I've had was it through like racism. So another guy, um, so he said, I can't, what did you do? He was messaging but and said something about, again, said something racism about my family or something. Right. Anyway, so me and my bro Cannibal, like, <laughs> he's the stabbing king. Like anyone, <laughs> the, <laughs> you know, well, he's known for it then. He, yeah. he, oh, mate, he's, he's the stabbing king. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, oh. I've never been, do you know what? I've never like, do you know what I'm saying? Being one of those ones, I'll grab my finger and just, if I've got to do what I've got to do, I'll do what I've got to do. Mm. So the skis are rang. And then he's, he's giving it on the phone. I like, you ain't gonna do nothing anyway. I grabbed Cannibal. We we had some things. Even the butchers don't even have. Do you know what I'm saying? Twelve o'clock. Found this. Found well. I thought we found this house. Anyway, we couldn't find it. Um, and then the next day, I think we got caught on CCTV. But they did nothing happen. The guy rang up and apologized. He's like, look, he sent the CCTV footage. 
of whatever. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, that was a lucky sort of thing. He apologised and that was the end of it. Do you know what yeah. I'm going to say? But these are things, like I say, if, you, if we just knocked on his door, if we found the right door and knocked our sorry, mate, just, it would have carried on and on and on. He saw what we was on and like I said, he knew like cannibal ain't fucking around and I ain't fucking. When we're on this whole thing, we don't care if we die or not. It is mm. what it is, isn't it? Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? If you're going to come for me, the way I see it, it's a sacrifice I'm, make, I'm making. Like, so you ain't going to do it to my, my kids, my kids' kids. Because it's all about how you bring up your kids. If you bring up your kids in the correct way, the whole generation, it's going to continue and continue. Mm. If you don't, then, mate, it's literally, it's game over. That, that's why the world is so fucked. 